Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we're going to be looking at Microsoft Word or word processors and we're going to be looking at how we can modify our paragraph settings to make them look the way we want them to look. So let's go look at the features that are available in Word for paragraphs. So straight away I've got a document with a whole bunch of paragraphs and so we're going to look at the settings. Now the settings when you change the settings it will apply only to whatever is selected. So you must select the paragraph that you want to change. If you want to select multiple paragraphs and obviously you must select multiple and then those settings will apply to every single paragraph. So let's have a look. Let's go try this one. I'm going to try it in the middle because I want to see the effects before and after as well. So let's first start off over here and you can click over there on the paragraph settings or you can right click and go to paragraph and then this will appear. You can straight away change the alignment which you can also do over there but to left to centered means it's all in the center. If you take note, each line is in the middle of that line, depending on how long that line is. I'm going to change the setting over here. You can actually make it right aligned or you can make it justified. Just so you know what justified means is justified makes it almost in a block. Besides the last line, it puts everything aligned on the left and the right. So it actually spaces out the spacing in such a way that it stretches across the entire line. So that is the difference between left aligned, right aligned, centered and justified. Let's set it back to left aligned and let's go back to those settings. Now let's look at the indentation. The indentation is how far from the margins are we going to be. So at the moment it's set to zero. So if we actually push that up a little bit, let's push it up a little bit to one whole centimeter. Do you notice in the example over here, the preview, you can see that it's actually moved it away from the edge compared to the other paragraphs. So that is the left indentation. We can do the exact same thing on the right hand side. So if we change that, let's move that up a bit to one centimeter on the right. And you can see it spaced it a little bit closer there. So let's go have a look at what that looks like. So there you can see it's made it a little bit indented from the left and a little bit indented from the right. And I want you to take note of these over here. If you don't have your ruler in view, you can just come here to view and click on ruler. As you can see over here, the left indent, which is this little bottom arrow, is right over here and the right indent is over there where if I go look at another paragraph you'll notice that the left indent is all the way along at the zero mark and the right is all the way to the other end so you can see the difference between the indentations over here for this paragraph that's over here compared to this one you can see it's indented a little bit so let's go select this paragraph again and go Another feature that you can have is, for example, a special type of indent. So, for example, you could have a first line indent, which means that's just the first line that's going to be indented and you give it a particular value. Let's make it 1.2 and you'll notice when I click OK that just the first line is indented. So there you can see the top arrow has been moved to over here. Where in here, the first line is the, exactly the same as the left indent. You can see it's indented a little bit on the side there. But what happens if you want all of the text to actually be indented a little bit rather? Well, that is not a first line indent, but that is a hanging indent. If we do the exact same thing, we can make it a bit more. You can see that the first line stays the same and the rest of the text will go and align at this hanging indent. So there we go. So you can see that we still at that point, but the hanging indent over here has been moved up. So your first line is always against your left indent, but the hanging indent will go a little bit further in. And then finally, let's go look at the spacing. Now this spacing refers to before the entire paragraph and after the entire paragraph. So if I want all of my paragraphs to be close together, then I can actually set it to zero. And by doing that, you can see it's right on top. Now obviously this paragraph also has a before and after setting. So that can influence what it actually looks like. So if you're doing multiple paragraphs, so let's go do multiple paragraphs over here. Let's do these two together and we're going to change the there before to zero and they're after to also zero you can see they're right on top of each other so if then if you want to actually create the look of a paragraph you would put a soft enter between to create that look but you don't need to use soft enters you can literally set your paragraphs just to be a particular distance after so let's try that let's try and make this one a little bit more we're going to go okay let's make this one after we're going to give it a bit more let's make it really big so we can see the effect and then the before the paragraph we're going to make that quite big as well and by doing that can you see you can't actually click there it's part of the almost padding or spacing above the paragraph and below the paragraph so it's actually creates quite a bit of a gap between the paragraphs 
But again, remember that your before is going to be combined almost with the spacing of the after of the previous one. So although this is technically 18, if we look at this paragraph, it has an after of eight. So that is part of this one. If I select this paragraph, you can see it includes that spacing above and below. And then the actual line spacing, the actual individual lines. If we select a paragraph, you can see multiple lines. If we increase this to a certain value, it multiple every second line, for example, then it actually puts a gap of one line. You can't actually click in that second line. It just creates that effect. What are the other options with line spacing? If we come here, you can see because we made it multiple two, it's the same as double. So single line spacing means it's just one after each other. They're right after each other. There's no gaps. If we come here to one and a half lines, that'll be one and a half. And then obviously double will be as if there's a blank line between everyone. Then you can set to at least, so it must be at least a particular set of points. So let's keep it to 12 and see what it looks like. So that's at least 12 points. If we make it a bit bigger, then it will space it out a bit bigger. You can play around with those settings. And then exactly, so you want it to always be an exact amount. So you can change that to, for example, we always want it to be at 16. So it'll be exactly that. We always want it to be at maybe 20. And there you can see it's exactly that. And then you can go to multiple. And this is where you can actually specify a bit of a value. So for example, that's one, that's 1 1.5 and that's two. So multiple, yeah, you can specify it to be 1.3 if you want a particular value. So that allows you a little bit more customization of how big the gap must be. So there we go. Those are the settings for a paragraph. This is the alignment. This is the indentation. Where does the line start and end? And then do we have a hanging or first line? Remember, first line only affects the first line. Hanging affects everything but the first line. And then this spacing is the before the paragraph and after the paragraph. And then that affects the individual lines of the paragraph. If you want to set the tabs, remember we do have a video on tabs, so go check that out. And you can also change those settings over here in this paragraph section of your toolbar. Again, changing the alignment over there. Yeah, you can change the line spacing. And then on the ruler, you can obviously individually as well, you can modify the alignments manually. If you want to take that a little bit forward to make a first line indent, maybe you want a hanging indent. You can actually manually move these around as well. It provides a lot of opportunities for you to change the paragraphs and that's all you need to know about paragraphs. Remember we have loads of Microsoft Word videos as well as videos for Excel, Access and HTML on our YouTube channel at Mr. Long IT and Cat. Make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you leave a comment and follow. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.